Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be comparing the gaming performance of Windows 11 and Bazite operating system in Stellar Blade demo running on my ROG Ally. I'll be playing through the same sequence with the exact same settings on both of these platforms. We'll kick things off with Windows 11. For this game I've set the UMA buffer size to 6GB. My Ally is running on BIOS version 341. I've installed Ally's latest official GPU driver that added support for Doom the Dark Ages. Using a 28 watts manual profile, all 3 power values set at 28 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8 bit to Ultimate 2C controller to Ally via 2.4 GHz wireless mode. No mods installed. Adrenaline and settings for the game. Enable freezing, freezing, and anti lag from here. Launch the game. Here, I'll use the medium preset. Upscaler set to FSR 3. Using its quality preset. Sharpness level 3 Not using FSR frame generation does not even work properly in this game I'll disable post processing effects like depth of field Chromatic abrasion, film grain Motion plus strength set to nil That's it Use a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics Here we are in There's Eve Keep an eye on the FPS counter and the frame pacing graph. Engage in combat. FPS is within a range of 45 to 55. Hitting the GPU bottleneck. Power draw 27 to 28 watts. Take on the slicer. Use my meta skill. Then slow down the game. I'll be crossing the bridge. This area is very heavy on the GPU. There is an invisible wall here. Upon crossing that wall, few hiccups will occur. I cross the wall, FPS drop to 40. Back up to 47. Good experience on Windows. VRAM usage here is close to 5.1 GB. Quickly take out this thing. Use my skill. That was a perfect parry. It's a shame that this game does not support XSS subscaler. FSR subscaler makes its hair look pixelated. You can use FSR mods to combine XSS upscaler with FSR frame generation. Tried a boss fight. Takes place in an indoor area. FPS mostly stays in the range of 50 to 60. It's a smooth experience here. Perfect dodge. Should have blocked that attack, my bad. A frame pacing graph, it's a flat line. Let's use my special ability. It's ready. So good performance on Windows platform. In the semi-open wall area, the FPS stayed with a range of 45 to 55. During the boss fight, FPS stayed with a range of 50 to 60. Now I'll test the same sequence on Pazite. This is the system section for Pazite OS, OS version 42. I've set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. Video driver AMD RADV 25.1.1. Show you the handheld payment settings. Double press the army gate button. Press the Y key. TDP set to 27 watts. The actual power draw for the APU will be slightly higher than the value that we set from here. You can verify this from the performance overlay. TDP boost disabled using a very aggressive fan curve. It's the same one that I use on Windows. CPU settings, CPU power set to low, CPU boost disabled. GPU frequency auto, that's it. For this game, I'll be using G Proton version 10-4 as the compatibility layer. Connected my Cosmic by Stellaris Gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. We'll be adding a launch argument to the game in order to unlock its setting. Steam Deck equal to 0, space percentage command. This will make the game think that it's not running on a Steam Deck, thereby unlocking the settings on ROG Ally. Performance key and settings. OLE level set to 4. Frame limit 120. VRI enable. That's it. Show you the in-game settings. 
same settings as before 900p resolution vsync off no fps cap applied motion blur camera shake film grain chromatic aberration disable fsr 3 upscaler enable everything set to medium using the upscaler's quality preset disable post processing effects like depth of field chromatic aberration film grain motion blur then set to nil it's the same cam kiosk on windows platform hey we were getting an fps with a range of 45 to 55 engage in combat keep an eye on the fps counter and the frame pacing graph getting close to 51 fps not bad 47 fps roughly the same performance on both windows and kazai Take out the slicer. Use my beta scale. It did not slow down the game. It's going to explode. Forty-nine FPS. Now I'll be crossing the bridge. We'll be going through that invisible wall. Expecting a few FPS drops here. Keep an eye on the frame pacing graph. I crossed the invisible wall. FPS drop to forty-one for a second. Back up to 46. Drop down on the slicer. Yeah, FPS mode. Beg your pardon. FPS mostly stayed close to 50. Good experience on both of these platforms. And got sliced there. Just a few hiccups here and then nothing extreme. Okay, now I load the pause file. This thing's done. Temperatures. Strike the pause file. On Windows platform, here we are getting an FPS with a range of 50 to 60. Use my meter skill. FPS is close to 60. That's really good to see. Left off that time. My bad. Slightly better performance in this boss fight on the side platform, in my opinion. Like three to four FPS higher. Such thing is not a problem. Fifty three FPS there for a second. On Windows, the lowest FPS count that I observed was fifty. Now we are getting 51 FPS. So performance difference is well within the margin of error. Getting the GPU bottleneck temperature close to 80 degrees Celsius. Nothing extreme. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.